The FW de Klerk Foundation says funeral arrangements are yet to be finalized for apartheid's last president. De Klerk died at his Freyne home in Cape Town. That's on Thursday after a long battle with cancer. ENCA's Ronald Massinda is following the story and joins us now. Ronald, so the biggest conversation now is on whether FW de Klerk is in fact entitled to a state funeral. What are the views that you're getting on the ground? Good afternoon, Wunder. Well, he is certainly entitled to a state funeral. Uh, Mr. De Klerk qualifies for a state category two funeral. And this one is afforded to uh, deputy presidents, acting deputy presidents, or former deputy presidents. And uh, Mr. De Klerk in 1994 was the deputy president of the Republic of South Africa. And uh, many during that time had said that uh, he had a difficult relationship with then President Nelson Mandela. Many felt that uh, Mr. de Klerk uh, wanted to hold on to power given that he was the president from 1989 to 1994. Even the National Party uh, had issues with Mr. de Klerk as deputy president, feeling that he had abandoned his duties as the party leader. So he is certainly... Uh, qualifying for state funeral. It's another question whether or not uh, the family will accept it. Mm -hmm. But we do understand that the FW de Klerk Foundation as it stands has not finalized or given us enough information around the funeral, funeral arrangements. Why do you think this is? Well, besides the fact that it, is, it has just happened, but around possibly having a state funeral, that is, is it perhaps the conflict or the conversations right now around FW de Klerk's legacy? Yes, indeed. I mean, that could possibly be the case because there's been a lot being said on, especially on social media, a lot of, uh, you know, critics, people who say that, you know, de Klerk was not an honest man. He was not a man who gave South Africans, uh, black South Africans in particular, freedom and that uh, he faced a lot of, uh, you know, pressures not only here in South Africa but also internationally uh, to ensure that apartheid did come to an end. And we also know that here uh, in the Western Cape there have been uh, several uh, reports of events. I mean, we heard of an event where uh, people in Kailich were actually slaughtering a ship in celebration of the passing of the former apartheid uh, president. We also have been hearing uh, reports of uh, many people, also white people, who, who, who are not uh, necessarily, uh, you know, in mourning with uh, the de Klerk family, saying that, you know, he was the reason why uh, the minority rule ended. So many people uh, are certainly uh, not uh, in, in mourning with the family during this time. Uh, but I think that could also be one of the reasons why uh, a lot uh, has not been said by the de Klerk Foundation when I spoke to them uh, today, especially asking whether or not will there be a memorial service as to how are plans going with the funeral. Even the presidents, having spoken to them earlier in the day, they are also are waiting for official confirmation from the foundation and the family as to what is the way forward. But I did file a story earlier on uh, that just goes in a bit more detail. The funeral arrangements for FW de Klerk are yet to be confirmed. The presidency told ENCA that it's still waiting for word from the family and the FW de Klerk Foundation. Many South Africans are still angered by suggestions that de Klerk gave them their freedom. We must not fall into the trap of those apologists now after his death who wish to make out that he was some kind of saintly father Christmas who delivered freedom to South Africa. Um, he presided over a ghastly system and in the period when he came to the fore um, as the president of this country right through to 94, between 1990 and 94 we had and seen 20,000 people killed, and the deaths were absolutely at his doorstep. According to the presidency's state official and provincial official funeral policy guideline, the clerk is entitled to a Category 2 state funeral. After serving his term in office between 1989 and 1994, he became a deputy president of the first government in a democratic South Africa. I think we need to make a distinction between the office and the person. As the deputy president of a democratically elected government, it's appropriate 
expect to be a state funeral. However, uh, because of the nature of his legacy and the degree to which it's tainted, I think it would uh, therefore be packed an act of wisdom to say maybe not in this case. The FW de Klerk Foundation has not yet announced whether or not a memorial service will be held. Ronald Masinda, Cape Town.